Hi, my love, beautiful souls. Mystic World's 1111. I'm back with you, bringing dark into the light. Please take what I think, and maybe just not pick something else. Let's read it off the screen. I'm going to do a quick message here. Holy Spirit, angels, and the for light, and the most high, please give me correct and accurate reading for the collective. I really need to know what's going on. What's hidden from them? Oh, something. Somebody's hiding a lot of information, okay? They're hiding a lot of information. Hiding a lot of secrets. Somebody's hiding a lot of secrets from somebody. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine secrets possibly. Someone could be hiding nine secrets. Dark angel trauma bonds, narcissism, and emotional abuse. Okay, so somebody that you're dating or um, in a relationship with or no, somebody could be a narcissist and they're hiding a lot of secrets. Okay, we have dark angel coming out, a narcissist. Okay. Hiding a lot of secrets from you. Keeping a lot of secrets from you. Or your loved one or your family member. Okay, what else? What's going on here? At least nine secrets. I'm hearing minimum of nine secrets being kept from you. Somebody knows how to keep some very good secrets. Okay? Someone's a really good keep a secret keeper. Clouds, problems, confusion, and insecurities. Okay, this is causing you to be in, uh, insecure about yourself. Causing you to be confused. Causing problem, problems in your relationships with other people. If you feel like you're being lied to or feeling like somebody's not telling the truth about something or one person's keeping secrets from you, then you may start feeling like other people are keeping secrets from you too. This is clouding your judgment. Okay, that's coming out again. Clouded judgment. This energy is just coming out a lot lately. Um, yeah, somebody needs to break free from a narcissist. Okay, somebody needs to break free from a narcissist. Time to break free from this narcissist, okay? They're keeping too many secrets from you. Okay, breaking free from a narcissist. Somebody plays a violin. Stars, true love, hopes, dreams. Okay, so you can have true love. Okay, so you can fulfill your dreams. Okay, um, hope, have hope. Okay, so somebody's name could be Hope. So what I'm, I'm hearing, okay, so somebody needs to break free from a narcissist. Okay, this narcissist is keeping a lot of secrets, at least nine secrets from you or nine secrets from somebody. Okay, this is causing you to be very, very insecure about yourself, insecure about other people. It's hard for you to trust other people. You could play violin. Somebody could play violin. There's a black cat here. Um, if you break free from this narcissist, from this trauma bond, and break free from these problems that this person's causing you or this confusion and insecurity, and you start um, being confident in yourself, you will have true love. Okay? You'll be enlightened. Stars. Stars are made overnight. There's a painter here. Somebody knows how to paint. Somebody's a very good creator too. Okay, you know how to create things. Somebody knows, somebody does resin. Somebody works with resin. I, I haven't heard that before. Um, Somebody may work with uh, like your creative ideas is making resin. Okay? You make things with resin. Very creative, very colorful. You're at a crossroads right now to make a decision. The choices we have. Okay, we all have choices that we can make. Good or bad. You're across with, so I'm hearing call upon hectic. Okay, if you if you work with deities and goddesses, hectic would be a really, really good um goddess deity to work with um at a, when you're in a crossroads, okay, when you're trying to make a choice or decision that you um you need assistance with, okay? So call upon hectic. I've been pulling a lot of Greek mythology coming out too, Greek deities, okay, Greek gods and goddesses as well. Okay. So someone also needs to cross-reference um goddesses and gods, okay, in mythologies, cross reference cross Cross-reference, Celtic, Greek, Roman, Egyptian, Sumerian, um, the Bible, Christianity, and Buddhist, and um, Hinduism. All this have cross-referenced them because there's, there's going to be some kind of message in there for you, okay? To make a decision, the right decision, the right path you want to go on, okay? And then also, you don't have to stay in one path. You don't have to be Greek. You don't have to be Celtic. You can, um, you don't have to be just Christian. Um, you can be ominous. Ominous is true to all religions and cultures, okay? Believing a little bit of um, each thing. Somebody's very precious too, okay? Your name could be precious or your precious porcelain doll, like an icy porcelain. Very sensitive. Their feelings get hurt very easily when you're let down or when you're not being, when you don't feel valuable. Somebody doesn't feel valuable. Just somebody doesn't feel like they're being treated with respect. Especially if this narcissist is um, keeping secrets from them. Somebody's not communicating properly with somebody either. 
you're not receiving proper communication with your person or this other person. This narcissist, okay, they tell you what they want to tell you and only what you want to know. They get, there could be some kind of using too. This could be a soul tie. You're looking for someone with a soul level. Okay, you're looking for someone with a soul level. But this narcissist that's keeping a lot of secrets that's making you feel insecure about yourself. You may be making some bad choices with this narcissist too, okay? Not correctly, because your 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 judgment, your 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 mind, your judgment is clouded. These is narcissists, okay? They, they they trauma bond you, they love bond you. Something's not now, okay? It's not now. Okay, you could be a feminine energy. You're dealing with a cold hearted person. Black heart, cold hearted. This person is not the one, okay? This is not now the one. You're looking for the one. This person is not the one, okay? Everything will be all right. Okay, everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Okay. Let's see. We'll pull a couple more, you guys, okay? Oh, wow. See? Everything will be all right. Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Get break free. You need to break free from this narcissist, okay? This narcissist is going to keep uh, keep you in a trauma bond, okay? Keep you in a um, lower funk. Make you feel like you're not worthy. Make you feel like you're not good enough, okay? And they're going to continue keeping secrets from you. If, they, if they're keeping secrets from you, they're keeping secrets from other people as well. Okay? Spirit's trying to give you in this beginning. Stop acting like a fool. Stop stop being in a relationship and acting like a fool, okay? Because you know, I'm hearing deep down, you know this person's a narcissist. You know this person ain't right for you. You know this person is keeping secrets from you. And you continue to save this person. That's why the choice card came come, comes out. It's time to make that choice. Okay? So you can find true love. Because you're looking for true love. You're looking for a real soul connection, soul level. Okay, so you can have this new beginning. So stop being a fool and have this new beginning, okay? You need to walk away. You may argue with this person. This person downs you too. Like, so if you may, I mean, here, like, you may stand up and, like, say something. Well, you may stand up and say something and, like, how you feel or confront this person and this person will, like, put you down and, like, manipulate um the words that you're saying, manipulate the situation. And dumb, I'm hearing, like, dumb down you. That's where I'm hearing dumb down you or something like that. Um, trying to make you feel like you're dumb. Make you feel like you're not smart. Make you feel like you're nobody. Okay, that, that person is a narcissist. That You should not have this person in your life. Trying to compete with you. Cause conflict in your life. This person may not want you to have friends or family members either. Or other relationships or co-workers. Be friends with co-workers. So this person may not allow you to have like relations with other people. But then they have relations with other people. There's like a secret agenda too I'm hearing, okay? You could be a very emotional person. Like I said, sensitive. Very emotional, sensitive. Okay? This person is being possessed by the devil. Okay? Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn as well. Lies. Okay? Clouded judgment. This is a clouded judgment too. Okay? Lies. I'm trying to cause you to be confused of what you want, who you want, where you're meant to be. So let's get one more. You do love this person, but you love this person because it's, it's trauma bond. It's love bomb. Okay? It's, it's not real. It's an illusion. Okay? It's, I'm hearing codependency. You, you, you feel like you love this person because you don't want to be alone. You feel like no one else will be able to love you. Even if this person's t keeping secrets from you, lying to you. So when you confront this person too, they may tell you something what you want to hear. So you stay with them and you don't walk away. And then it, like two days later, again... They come, you some. They do something again to keep another secret from you, or they don't tell you something, and then it's all over. You, you get in an argument with this person again, and then they they please you for a couple of minutes, and then it's it, they start it all over again. It goes back and forth. It's like a circus, one ring circus. They'll please you for five minutes, ten minutes, a day, and then it's the same cycle. You're not seeing something clearly. There's something inside of you, you feel it, but you're not seeing it clearly, or you're being blinded by it. Grab a couple of these and this. This person's causing you to be in a mental prison, okay? Causing you to be a mental prison. They could be a mental prison, but they're causing you to be a mental prison. They want you to be confined. Oh, shoot. You're in denial. Look at it. In denial. 
of who this person is, okay, of not facing the truth, um, reasoning, and causing anxiety. This is causing you anxiety as well. You know they're not telling you the truth about something. Like, you literally, you're, you know that they're doing something behind your back. They're having a love affair. Dirty little secrets down low. Someone could be um, bisexual or sleeping with the same sex. And you know this. You feel this. Because then you're in denial over the situation. You're, you're in panic too. I'm here in panic that they're going to break up with you. Or they're going to leave you. Or you're not going to be able to find somebody better. That's the devil telling you that. That's Satan saying that. You will find better. Okay? And you may need to break up with this person first. You're afraid to break up with this person. I just keep hearing you're afraid to break up with this person. Afraid to, I'll walk away from this person. Even if this is a friend. If this isn't an intimate relationship, you're afraid because you don't want to be alone. You feel like this this person is your friend, but this person is not your friend. This person is a, um, a foe. A hidden enemy. Trapping you. Money. Pregnancy or heartstrings. Love bombing you. Causing you to be trapped, stuck. Not wanting you to get away. Okay, you could be searching for something. Okay, some kind of about receipts. Okay, I'm going to close this out, you guys. Oh, hold on. Spirit told me to grab an angel card for you. You have angels all over you watching you, protecting you, okay? You are loved. Anything that's negative in your mind, anything that's negative, if, if like you're feeling negative, remember it's Satan. It's Satan. It's it's not God. God uses I am's. God is I am able to do things. I am capable. I'm loving. I'm kind. I'm confident. Okay. Satan is the one that's saying you can't do this or you're unlovable or you're unworthy. Okay. Anything that's negative in your mind is Satan. When you feel like you can't have anybody, that's Satan. Archangel Michael, as I said, an angel protector. Time to manifest. Okay? Manifest a happy life. Okay? Manifesting a happy relationship. Someone that truly loves you and truly loves truly loves you and you love them. But what I'm hearing is um the reason that like you don't have this love is because there's something about you need to loving yourself first, okay? Loving yourself first. When you start loving yourself, you will start you will understand that this narcissist is not good for you, okay? You need to break free from this narcissist. Surrender and release. Yep, see, surrender. Surrender to God. Release. Release this narcissist, okay? Release this narcissist and surrender to God. It'll lead the way. Listen to more music. Music. Someone could be musically inclined to. Remember the violin came out earlier? Someone could be musically inclined. Remember, I'm not musically inclined. I'm tone deaf. Thank you. 511. Change. Personal development. Be proactive. Um, proactive. Try new things. Break out of your comfort zone and listen and what listen to what your heart desires. Listen to your heart desires. Your heart is just holding like your head is saying, no, this person is gonna be good. This person's gonna be good for me. This person's gonna be for me. But your heart is saying, no, this person is not good. Like follow your soul. Or it could be the opposite, but this person is not right for you, okay? This is a narcissist trying to um keep you stuck. Anchor you down. Love bomb you. Trauma bond you. Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, number 12. Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, number 12. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, heal, namaste.